Hello everybody, I'm Thomas Trove, Applications Engineer at Melexis. I will explain how to program our programmable MLX 9292 Legend Switch. The MLX 9292 is our third generation programmable sensor that can be programmed at Melexis, but with the feature to program them in the customer application. This means that the sensor can be used for rapid prototyping, so to find the correct parameters in the application, or for real end-of-line programming. In this case, the sensor will be assembled inside the module and trimming of the thresholds will be done in a final stage. The hardware that you will need to communicate with our programmable sensors are the PTC04. This is our programmer. On top of that, you will need to place the daughter board. For latch and switches, the daughter board that you will need is the 922XX. Last, you need to connect the sensor with the daughter board. Once the PSF and the user interface are installed, you, you need to upload the firmware inside the PTC04. Now we can open the MLX 9292 user interface. In the user interface, there are multiple options available, but it's important that you follow the correct solver flow. There are three options to program the MLX 9292. The first one, the fault selected by the solver, is Trim BOP. Here we will focus on the operating point. Another option is Trim BRP. By clicking on Solver and Trim BRP, we are now focusing on the release point. The third option is Trim both endpoints. Here you will define a minimum and a maximum field and the solver will automatically calculate both thresholds within this range. Let's focus on trim BOP. First, we will need to fill in the targets. Select if you want to have a latch or a switch. If switch is selected, the Ceresis tab appears. This is the difference between the BOP and the BRP. The inverted output inverts the output signal. This means a low signal becomes high and a high signal becomes low. With correction offset, you can lower the programmed BOP point under the maximum applied field. And thanks to the TC, that stands for temperature compensation, we can compensate our thresholds over temperature. This means that our thresholds will follow the same curve over temperature as the magnet. Let's select a varied magnet. This means minus 2000 ppm per degree. A customer ID can be set, but you should be aware that in many of our programmable sensors there is already a Melexis ID available. Once the targets are defined, we can continue with power and diagnostic modes. There are multiple power and diagnostic modes. Depending on which you select, different parameters will appear or disappear. The sensor can operate in micro mode, but still also in fast mode. The first parameter, the operating period. This is the frequency of the chip waking up and updating their output. With multiple top per tick, you can define the frequency of the tick message on the output. When one is selected, it means that on every TOP there will be a message. When another value is selected, you need to multiply this value by the TOP. The tick duration means the length of the tick. Once all the parameters are set, we can continue by clicking on New Device. New Device will check if there is a chip present and if the memory can be read out. If so, it will also check your solver combinations. If something is not possible, it will automatically change to the closest value. Now you can apply a magnetic field, press on Trim BOP. The results are displayed in the Result Information tab. Trim Diagnostic will trim the diagnostic inside the chip to achieve the ASL requirements. If you now open the EEPROM, you will see that the temporary memory is different than the memory inside the chip. Press on Program to end the sequence. In the Memory tab, there is also a Force Diagnostic button. This means that you can force the diagnostic to check the behavior of the chip in case of an error. In the Settings window, you can change some parameters of the PTC04. Important here is the pull-up resistor that is already available on the daughter board. This means that this one can be used for our three wire with open drain output. In the measurement tab, you can monitor the sensor in real time. You can see the output switching, 
You can measure the VDD, you can measure the current through this chip or the output state. A nice feature here is the measure field. Thanks to this, you can measure in real time the magnetic field that is present facing to the sensitive side of the chip. This function can be used in a prototyping phase to define the thresholds. If you now would connect the sensor to the oscilloscope, you, you can verify the parameters that are programmed. For example, the TOP. This one can be measured between two rising edges of the current. We see on the oscilloscope that the TOP is 2.14 milliseconds, exactly the same as the parameter that we have programmed. On the output, you will see the tick message. We selected multiple top per tick is two. This means that there will be a tick message available on the output every two times the chip is waking up. When a diagnostic is forced, the chip will report a low value on the output and the tick message will disappear. More information related to our MLX9292 can be found on our Melexis website. Please also take a moment to check out all our other videos. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again.